What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Fate Extra Triple C. So last time, we made it to the end of the labyrinth only to be stopped by BB and her newest recruits, who she calls her alter egos, offshoots of herself, that she has created to stop us. They even managed to push back Gilgamesh, meaning we have nothing to do but to return to the council. See what they have to say about this. Probably nothing helpful. They haven't done really anything helpful so far. All the members of the student council are gathered in the council room. Whoops. Yeah, there we go. The reason everyone is wearing such dark expression may be because they've been informed of the new sentinels. Or rather, offshoots. Alter egos that BB have has created. Welcome back. I tell you well done, but no one's in the mood for that. Oh, well, fuck you guys, too. I didn't just put, like, risk my life to go and do this. Doesn't matter if we didn't see or not. What was I fought Ronnie and beat her? Why am I with you guys again? Oh, right, okay. I got confused for a second. I <laughs> I misread my own words, so... Ronnie is recovering in the infirmary. She was synced with BB for her longer than I was, so it seems it'll also take her longer to return to consciousness. Mm. Let her have a good rest. Soul care is important, after all. So much that even my ego was nearly destroyed by that brown girl's verbal persecution. Though now, as you can see, I am the same Monji I always was. In your case, it's less that you recovered than that you forgot about everything and went back to normal, I'd say. Why would a debilitated spirit recover simply by having a meal? That is the fruit of my training, pale and scrawny one. With that elixir, anything becomes steaming silver sh shari and mackerel pike. But I'll forgive you, the dried plum. This conversation's making me hungry now. I see. So you're a spiritual zombie. Go to clean the toilets, will you? Even Julius is just tired of <laughs> Gato shit. Leo. Leo, what is Silver Shari? It seems to be a king of high class rice ball. Maybe he means that under certain circumstances, fresh cooked rice has the same value as platinum? Ah, in that case, I have similar recollections. High-quality meals would even affect one's morale on the field of battle, especially the king's. Monji Gato. Comparing the supply train to silver and gold is not as bad as I thought. No, he's still bad, trust me. <laughs> nah, the old guy's not that deep. It's just forgetting bad things from before when something good happens. Okay, that works. Yeah. What an amazing function! Forgetting damage is impossible even for the moon cell. I forgot what voice he used for his. He came out as Ren. I don't know. Yeah, only humans have the ridiculous ability to conveniently alter their co cognants, cognants whenever it suits them. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that if the moon cell switched to a Gato type OS, that would be the end of the universe. Yeah, probably. God forbid that happened. <laughs> or the beginning of the universe, a field of flowers fling every which way with a whole new law of idiocy. Thanks to Mr. Gato's presence, the mood has lightened. An unexpected hidden skill for getting a dead silent room to break out in... Garu... Garulity? Okay. 
<laughs> no need to envy me, no need. It's only natural for the head of the cheering squad. The harder things get, the more you should smile, President Leo. He's part of the cheering squad now? Indeed, I'll take that to heart. I had intended for this to be a meeting about BB's two alter egos, but let's take a small break. Everyone is tired after all. We'll hold the briefing in six hours. Miss Tosaka and I will s sort things out with Sakura ahead of time. So everyone, please get some rest. They still won't rest? Leo, Rin, and Sakura have been for you know, providing backup for us without resting the whole time we've been in the labyrinth. Well, Sakura's an AI and Rin wasn't providing backup the whole time we were in the labyrinth because we fought her unless they mean specifically this part if you're talking about fatigue those three have got to be worn out by now as well don't worry about it all i can do right now is provide support for you vala so this is only natural go to your room one step ahead of us and rest taking breaks is important to your work as well it's fine as long as you keep your strength up We'll keep working you to the bone. Thanks. Rin's cheerful face shows not a trace of weariness. I can't protest when she puts it that way. I'll have to carry out the role assigned me, like she devotes herself to hers. Exactly. Brother, Mr. Gauto, you should rest too. Especially you, brother. You haven't slept a wink since coming here. Even if you try to hide it, it won't stay hidden with Sakura here. I see. I suppose I have strained my nerves too much. Though her job is health supervision. Sakura's. There's no deceiving the eyes of an AI. I will take two hours assigned rest. No more. Izanagi, rest well. Okay. I wonder what Gilgamesh has to say about our rounding defeat. <laughs> Let's go find out, shall we? I've no idea what you just said. And I'm okay with that. Uh, we could talk to him, doesn't really resort in anything, so we'll just end. Those women. Were they called Alter Egos? High servants with the strength of impudent goddesses mashed together. Irredeemably hideous, but interesting. Even low quality products are good occasionally. That BB. She truly does great on my nerves most thoroughly. Spitting out those words, Gilgamesh wears a pleased smile. It seems the appearance of the Alter Egos was unexpected and stimulating even for this servant. Even as I'm astounded by how at ease he seems to be, I admire it. I can't be so optimistic at the arrival of enemies surpassing Elizabeth in strength. <laughs> what are you saying? BB is not the one who entertains me. That would be the expression on your face, mongrel. Our battles up t to now were truly wasted efforts. We saved those two women, but a pair, <laughs> a new pair of women has thwarted us. Have thwarted us. I don't know. You still haven't regained your memories and no hope of replacing your command seals. And additionally, we are faced with a strange and formidable enemy the likes of which not even I have seen. What about it? It would be natural for any, for any respectable human being to break down at this point, especially the average mage. But you, my contractor, are unexpectedly unfazed by this predicament. Well, not to brag, but I am definitely not the average mage. I'm lower. <laughs> Though, are you, though you are the weakest of any in this school building, more than I of the others, you keep your eyes on the heavens. I think that's supposed to be more than any of the others. 
There was once a philosopher who said that man is a thinking reed, but you truly are. I don't know what that means. You should be proud. That solidity is the only thing I lack. As it is your only redeeming feature, you should embrace it with all you have. Could it be? It's just a possibility. But I think he praised me just now. Wow. No way. Even if I've guessed wrong, that somehow makes me happy. Am I happy just to be evaluated by this servant or happy to be praised for my inability to give up? No. Either way, the important thing is that, with one casual statement from Gilgamesh, my feelings instantly come to a boil. If this is how it is, I can still fight. Just as he said, even though my memories are vague and I've lost my command seals, and my relationship with my servant is the worst, those are all things I'll be able to recover, uh, recover from someday. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. It's a shame, though. It appears that those egos have no Mesopotamian lineage. If Ishtar were among them, I would have unsheathed EA with no questions asked. But that BB is aware of my sensitive points. Good to know. I don't really know who Ishtar is. I think it's some kind of god. Gilgamesh keeps talking. I occasionally make affirmative sounds, but my eyelids grow heavy. All my accumulated wariness drags my conscious consciousness down into sleep. With Gilgamesh's voice as my pillow, my eyelids fall closed. Perhaps my sol solid solidity really is something significant. <laughs> I've even grown accustomed to him looking down at me like this, after all. Alright, kind of a short episode, but that will actually end off Chapter 2. So, next time we get to start into Chapter 3. I hope you guys are prepared. This is when things start getting weird. <laughs> if they weren't already weird. Anyway, so until next time guys, I will catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Fate Extra Triple C. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back into the labyrinth, fight our way to the other side with the egotistical Gilgamesh at my side, and crush all those who would stand in my way. Until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta.